Good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video I wanted to put across uh, you know a slightly different concept and and and, and a bit of a, uh, you know different um, in a different way because you see in this palm you can see a fourth phalange coming in you see there is this phalange this phalange and an additional line coming in and this is this is a very rare uh, kind of a uh, formation because it indicates you know towards a person uh, having extra qualities in these fingers but again it is between Saturn and Apollo and we know that Saturn and Apollo are not that great friends so uh, there, there can be a possibility of a conflict in nature um, yeah, so the person has to be careful that way because see Saturn is like uh, you know having no ego but sun is like having ego and when these kind of an ego clash happens it becomes extremely difficult now i would see uh, you know what happens is you will see one thing i've also observed is that whenever saturn is uh, you know having this yellowish marking even apollo has and this uh, kind of means um, the same thing that is you know the person is mixed he's having both passive and aggressive kind of a form um, kind of a thinking so, uh, you know, one has to be really careful when Saturn, because we either the Saturn should not be that strong, or if it is strong, then Sun should be like average, or otherwise Sun should be very strong and Saturn should be placed well and you know, should not be affected or should not have cast its image on Sun. So, yeah, and, and again, whenever we see both the mounts not doing very well or having a lot of yellowishness, then you will see in the horoscope as well that, you know, astrologically there can be uh, some kind of a relationship between Saturn and Sun, and again, this relationship is not a very healthy one so that is the thing uh, again uh, we'll try to look into this palm now of course this palm has a a uh, very good healing striate so the person would be a, absolutely a very good healer but you can see the drop down finger and the drop down mercury finger uh, again one thing which i found is that these days you know very few people have these healing striates because you know uh, people have become a bit you know um, self-centered and they do not want to help others but these people are really good who have this healing striate they do it unconditionally and when you do it unconditionally then only this healing striate or the medical stigmata comes out if it is always from a purpose it does not come out and especially in this case it looks to be that the person is really genuine and has put in a lot of um, you know efforts in in putting this healing um, you know things across so hopefully with time to come there will be more healers and we'll become more friendly and you know we'll not you know, cut each other out and probably help each other to rise up rather than having you know um, personal ambitions and getting up because you know if we help each other i always have a belief that everyone can raise to the fullest potential but again that does not happen in real time uh, now going ahead with the heart line uh, the heart line looks good it goes you can clearly say it goes towards the uh, you know it goes towards the jupiter finger and which indicates uh, towards a person who's very idealistic very emotional expressive very loyal in love matters and you can also see a small split on the heart line clearly the split is visible uh, I'll just try to zoom it. Yeah, I guess it, now it's clearly visible and uh, this would kind of mean always that the person is good emotionally and is quite quite warm because you know the hand is very reddish pinkish in color which is an additional benefit the person will have. Also, uh, I looked upon the palm from the other perspectives as well. Like for example, if you'll see uh, there is a shift in the headline. I also discussed this palm a bit earlier, but I found few more interesting things. Like, uh, you know, this kind of a headline shift where the headline is shifted, you know, uh, it's slightly shifted upwards. And whenever there is a shift upwards, it always means that the person becomes more practical at that time. Okay, and whenever it shifts down, it become, it means person has become more imaginative at that time. So in this case, it kind of shifts up. So there would have been a change in thinking earlier in the life around maybe 14, 15, 16 or so. And the person became slightly more practical. And But still, the line goes down. So the person will have the image, imaginative qualities as well. But compared to the earlier uh, imagination, now it's slightly more controlled. And the person will be more um, practical. Now there are a lot of horizontal lines on the side of the palm and again you can see see whenever the uh, horizontal lines are towards the top of the palm just below the heart line and slightly there it indicates towards a travel to Europe or things like that whenever it is below somewhere here okay somewhere here then it indicates if you can see here okay I'll just maximize it yeah you can see it's it's right over there a horizontal line 
okay and this would indicate towards a location in Canada or US okay so this person has a likelihood of travel towards Canada and US and again uh, the fate line looks fine uh, only the person has to be a bit careful after 35 because it fades around that time and there are there are two types of uh, fate lines coming out so there will be a split in the income that is two income sources but again the intensity and the vigor might go down also the fate line starts from the center um, uh, or slightly from the mount of moon so the person will take others advices wife support would help the person raise and also uh, the person would uh, you know like to be famous for whatever he does whenever it starts from moon uh, there is a bit of fancifulness always attached also the lifeline if you'll see it kind of fades in, in uh, when it reaches the end part but then there are supporting lines which helps uh, the person through so the person has to be a bit careful uh, but there are supporting lines which would help the person as well so yeah so you can see a bit of fadeness coming in but then the split is there so it's good uh, again mount of venus is very developed the person will be luxurious oriented will have a lot of luxury and will attract a lot of money as well uh, also a lot of horizontal lines here so there will be stress in the earlier part of life but later life seems to be much more eventful happier and much more stable so hopefully you got the uh, readings across thank you take care have a great day bye bye